2016 is shaping up to be the year of virtual reality. Video games, Hollywood, and media giants are embracing the technology, and affordable goggles have hit the market, driving VR into the mainstream. But little is known about the lasting effects this powerful medium can have on our minds. John Blackstone visited a Stanford University lab that is studying the impact of the VR revolution. Inside this small office at Stanford University, Professor Jeremy Balenson has the ability to make your wildest dreams a reality. You can grow a third arm, you can travel the world, you can go to the bottom of the ocean, and the possibility to do things that we could only imagine previously is really neat. It's called the Virtual Human Interaction Lab, and it's become a must-see for Silicon Valley titans, like Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg, looking to get into the booming virtual reality market. Seems okay. For test subjects like me, it begins by putting on the goggles. Okay. You see that you're in the room? I see the room. Except where am I? Am I here? <laughs> no, you've disappeared. I am suddenly standing in a virtual replica of Balenson's lab. Look down. Do you see that piece of wood on the floor? Uh, yeah. Walk to the right side of it, please. But when I look down... Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Okay. The chasm looks so real, my knees are shaking. I know the floor is solid, but part of my brain is shouting, don't do it. Take a step off. <laughs> Hard to do, but, ah! Okay, good <laughs> job, good job. <laughs> Virtual reality is not a media experience. When it's done well, it's an actual experience. So the impact of doing something with these goggles on is greater than the impact of looking at Sort of the same thing on a flat screen on my, on my smartphone. In general, our findings show that VR causes more behavior change, causes more engagement, causes more influence than other types of traditional media. Over the next 30 minutes, I virtually learn new skills. Oh, that one hurt. Like blocking hockey pucks and training my body to react quickly during an earthquake. Wow, this is pretty real. <laughs> But the teaching can also go much deeper. And now I want you to bend down at the knee so you can't see yourself anymore. Go all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. Now come up. Oh. Oh, that's the reaction <laughs> we're after. You are now a woman of color. I am suddenly transformed, appearing to have changed both my gender and race. Balenson's research has shown this exercise in empathy can actually change the way people act towards others. Becoming someone else in virtual reality and experiencing this trauma firsthand in general causes reduction in prejudice compared to the typical way that we try to address this, for example, role playing or mental imagery. But he also sees risks. Virtual reality is potentially more addictive than video games and smartphones. Virtual reality is consuming. You put it on you're there. It's really intense and you actually feel like you're there. So intense that VR goggles are not recommended for children under 13 and users are encouraged to take breaks every 30 minutes. It's a powerful tool. That power of the experience doesn't come for free. Is this too powerful for people to, to have freely? Uh, in the wrong hands, technology can be good and it can be bad. Uranium can heat homes and it can destroy nations. And virtual reality is a medium. It's up to us to use it for good. Balenson has been studying virtual reality since 1999. This year, he is finally seeing it enter the consumer mainstream. It's a pretty special time to be doing virtual reality. It's not virtually real. It's real. It's real. Whoa, whoa. Okay, let's go down here. Well, it certainly <laughs> seems real. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone, Stanford, California. So cool. Seems very real. Yes, and speaking of virtual reality, check out these Vogue VR cameras. Mm. We're going to be using them to stream our 8.30 half hour so you can get a behind-the-scenes virtual look inside Studio 57 that you can control on your own computer. What? Mm. Yeah. Huh? Go to CBSMorning.com to find out how to watch in VR.